is up to today, tonight on PM Magazine. WJKW TV 8, Cleveland. Jim Finnerty. And I'm Kathy Bruguette. Welcome to PM Magazine. We are in sunny Southern California. It's the palm trees and the sunshine, and we're going to be here all week long. How did you like the flight out, Kathy? Jim, I love the flight over. You remember the story you did a while back on the United Flight Kitchens? Well, Jim and I got to sample some of that food on our way to California, and your steak looked terrific, and I loved my rainbow trout. Our compliments <laughs> to the chef. <laughs> Jim, you know, you and I aren't the only Clevelanders who are out here in California. A lot of Ohioans have made the transition to the West Coast. And you know, you're right, because Ernie Anders kind of a wild and zany Friday night program on TV8, in which he did some crazy, crazy things. Well, several years ago, Ernie Anderson heeded Horace Greeley's advice and headed West, young man. And now his is the voice that you hear on several national commercials. And he also does the announcing on another television network that I'm not going to mention. But his real career start began at TV8 on a show called Ernie's place in which he was involved with another young man from Chagrin Falls, a young man named Tim Conway. Well, Tim came west, and then Ernie came west, and now both men are involved in a whole new direction. This piece is a light, warm, friendly thing, uh, you know, up in the upper register. You ready? Mm -hmm. This is Ernie Anderson. Take one. Every woman's hair has individual conditioning needs. Normal hair needs a little, damaged hair needs more. So Alberto created Light and Fresh Balsam. It seeks out the individual needs of your hair. Here, hair glows wherever Light and Fresh is absorbed. Hated it that much, huh? One more time. What was the matter? If you are mildly successful, it is a marvelous life. Because you, uh, you work maybe two or three times a, a week. Uh, and if you walk in, the paper's already there, it's already written, everybody's ready to go, and you walk, just walk in off the street with whatever you have on, nobody cares. You can grow a beard, you can be anything you want to be, as long as you can deliver on the microphone. It is a sensational way of life. You have all the total freedom to yourself. You can even ask that they move the session around. Maybe instead of today, could you do it tomorrow? And many times they are able to. And your time and your life is your own, if you're moderately successful. If you are enormously successful, it's hideous. You are gone from the morning until night. Six and seven days a week. Which is Ernie Anderson? Well, unfortunately at the moment I am uh, I, I go from 8 o'clock in the morning till 2 and 3 o'clock in the morning. Call Rob and Tom up just a few minutes later, but we'll get it on the air. What, baby? I have your special time. Okay. 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 We we'll want you at LAX terminal, uh, LAX tomorrow morning, 8.30. At the TWA terminal, go to the counter and ask them for directions to the L1011 lounge. It's on the mezzanine floor. Okay. If you have any trouble, go back to the TWA counter and wait, and they'll come get you. No, you get lost, baby. If my mother takes me, I'll be all right, won't I? You will. You'll find me. I'll be there. If you want to see Ernie Anderson at home, look quickly. It's a spot he seldom sees these days. That's because in a highly competitive commercial recording market, Cleveland's own Goulardi is very much alive and doing very well. Ernie moved to California in the late 60s, leaving behind a show still talked about today. Could you tell us when you first got your start as Goulardi? I first got my start as Goulardi when they fired me from Channel 3 and five you wouldn't hire perhaps me. perhaps tell us uh, to what you owe the success of Goulardi? I owe the success of Goulardi to my outstanding talent. Mm -hmm. It has been rumored yes. that you are seeing Dorothy. Oh, now that's an outrageous truth. lie. I never could see her. <laughs> hey. Ernie Anderson as Goulardi graced the screen of Cleveland Television for five years, a program that spun off another success called Ernie's Place, a show which he did with Cleveland's own Tim Conway. In the late 60s, Ernie followed Tim West, making the rounds of advertising agencies and building a following for his deep baritone voice. 
I'd had my fill of that uh, kind of on-camera, you know, adulation where you go and everywhere you go, you go, huh, huh, and sign my autograph and all that, and you draw crowds and everything. It really gets, hmm, stop doing this. I, let, me, let me just live my own life. There really wasn't any transition. It was just stop doing one thing. I mean, uh, it, like I didn't go from being on camera exclusively and then, you know, go, go into being off camera. I used to have the uh, CEI account and the Ohio Bell, so I had a constant little freelance thing running while I was in Cleveland. So I just stopped being on camera. I kept right on going, uh, doing voiceovers and commercials. And it just expanded, got to the point where I couldn't do any on-camera commercials. When not off-camera these days, Ernie lives with his wife Edwina and four children in a rambling house in Studio City, north of Hollywood. Definitely a high-rent district. But is he any different? No. I don't think so. I'm just as... a little, you know, more sedate, sedate more sober, you know. And I don't mean <laughs> sober, sober. I mean, once it isn't as... Well, because the situation's different. The situation has changed. I'm, uh, I'm not off in all directions like I was in Cleveland, or as I was in Cleveland, whichever, you know. I was uh, freelancing, I was uh, being Gowardi, I was a studio announcer, I was doing uh, football games uh, with my buddy Mr. Casada here, and basketball and softball, and we were just going everywhere. And while it's been 11 years since Goulardi showed his strange and bizarre face on Cleveland television, he and Ernie have not been forgotten. This very day, I walked into a place, and a guy bounced out of the woodwork and said, you know what I've got coming? Well, I'm sent away for it. I got a, my sister-in-law somewhere in Cleveland's got it, and I'm getting one. Is a Goulardi shirt, the sweatshirt. You know. uh, the best one I had was I was driving down, and I parked it at the cross street, and a lady came by with a baby carriage and she got right in the middle of my car and did a double take stopped in the middle of the street with her baby and said Guardi, hey Guardi." one more thing we didn't show you in front of ernie's house there are christmas decorations and a santa claus still left over from the holiday season ernie says we've just been so busy we haven't had time to take them down and that's not all we have planned for you tonight on pm magazine our departments and leonard nimoy one of the stars of the popular tv series star trek all of that coming up when TV8's PM Magazine continues.